Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So this is just gonna be a quick update on the whole CNC build. Uh, on the previous videos, I actually show how I put the whole frame together, uh, fill all the aluminum extrusions with epoxy granite, and make some parts to make this CNC. Uh, one thing I did have to change from my previous video is that this part over here on the C-axis was mounted this way in and this part out. Uh, the main reason I actually end up changing it this way is because first I, I had a play of around three thousandths of an inch which is not that much but the main reason was that when I, <clears throat> I hit the spindle like this you will hear the back of the C-axis resonate and that actually will give a horrible finish so switching the C-axis this other way, it makes the spindle a lot more solid. Uh, the play that I measure was about one and a half, maybe two thousandths of an inch, which is a little less than before. And the only bad part I think is that I lost about one and a half inches of clearance over here, but most of the parts that I cut ain't gonna be no higher than this I think so I'm, I still have plenty of clearance the other good thing is that before I needed to make some type of a pneumatic air assist or counterbalance uh, now I can actually move the spindle up and down a lot easier because it's only lifting the spindle and a couple brackets over here but I actually have come to a point where I need to make a, a lot of little things in order for me to continue but instead of me trying to record a bunch of video clips of how to solder wires or uh, connecting wires or trying to invent other things that I need to do uh, I'm just gonna explain a couple things that I, I'm gonna have to do in order for me to continue uh, first I'm gonna have to put these uh, pneumatic fittings into the uh, linear rail blocks in order for me to put some grease because the fittings are actually right here on the side that I cannot get to. So I'm gonna put this to extend some fittings maybe to the front and back of the table in order for me to try to put some grease. So that's one thing I need to do. Uh, the other thing is here I have some uh, aviation plugs I think but I need to change these plugs over here and like this plug over here don't have no plug so I need to add one of those same with the C axis over here uh, it has a plug but I don't have the other end so I'm gonna end up switching all those plugs for these ones in order for me to, to use all the um, optical uh, limit switches that all three axes has. Uh, the one thing that I need to do is right now I'm actually using a, a UC100 and a Gecko G540 to control the CNC. It's the way this thing works actually I can uh, use these uh, optical limit switches with it uh, because the optical limit switches requires 5 to 24 volts while the Gecko requires 48 volts so I can uh, use that one so I think I'm gonna end up using this piece over here which is from a CNC drive and um, is the AXBBE and hopefully connect the optical switches and this stepper motor is just temporary to for me to try to continue and then i'm gonna have to make some type of thing over here on the y-axis table to protect the uh, linear rails and bolt screws since uh, most of the chips will be here and i don't want to damage those parts so I'm just going to move the 
the machine left to right up and down and all that with the with the keyboard. So I have the machine moving around 550 inches per minute on the X and Y axis and about 180 inches on the C axis. The C axis I can actually move a little faster. Uh, but what I'm actually interested in is in the acceleration. I'm gonna, I, I have to keep playing with it. The only thing that I'm afraid right now is to crash the any axis on its limits and that's why I need the uh, limit switches to be on so I can actually leave it maybe around 500 inches per minute on rapids but the acceleration I'm gonna try to, to, to put it as fast as I can so it makes those sharp corners and make those fa fast movements too so this is just gonna be it for this video uh, hopefully on the next video I can maybe do some cutting and do more with it since right now I feel like I cannot do much with it just move it uh, left to right up and down for testing purposes so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.